Hello, friends, and welcome back to Let's Play Colonization. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this colonist here. Let me check my foreign affairs. Yep, definitely at war with the Netherlands. Definitely have to capture Guadalupe. You notice that Guadalupe has a green number in its population. That means everyone in Guadalupe wants to rebel from the Netherlands. This is one of the reasons why we want to capture Guadalupe. Another reason is they have a fishery. Another reason is they have ore access because of these marshes. Another reason is they still have a forest. So Guadalupe, and it's actually built on a forest, which is ridiculous, but Guadalupe is actually a really good town. Which, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have insulted the Dutch by going out of my way to capture it, but the king has ordered us to attack the Dutch, and the best place to do that is Guadalupe. So, you know, you can't argue with logic like that. I think I'm gonna send this guy to Baltimore. He's probably from Santo Domingo. Or maybe this guy's gonna get killed by Indians, perhaps. In which case, I'd better clear the orders for these dragoons first. Wait. Yep. Get away from my road. And most of us already want to rebel from England anyway, but... Well... These things take time. Because I said so. Throw these furs... Well, nothing. Are furs an embargo? No, they're not really worth much. I've got to go to England anyway to pick up all of those soldiers that the king sent. One, two, three... And I will remove one of these artillery from Roanoke. Wait. You. Go. Well, actually, is there any cargo I could grab? Horses, but I'm not going to sell horses. I'd rather have them available. A little bit of sugar. A little bit of ore. I'm not seeing anything I really need to sell, so I'm just going to go to London with the frigate to collect all of those all of those soldiers and other various units. Need you. This guy's building a road. One, two, three. Alright. One, two. And I need three artillery from Plymouth. So Plymouth will be a little bit less defended, but Plymouth cranks out artillery pretty regularly now, so that's not that big of a deal. Go to London. One, wait, two, wait, three, one, two. So now the galleon is filled with artillery. Price of food has risen, is that? So I could actually sell food for 100 gold now. Muskets are really expensive. All right, we have another statesman in Roanoke. Uh... But will I train another statesman still? Let's have a look here. I need a statesman in Boston. Do I have one on the road? That guy's probably going to either Baltimore or Boston. Yeah, I definitely need another one or two elder statesmen. So I am going to go to Plymouth here. Wait, not Plymouth. Roanoke? Yeah, these guys are being trained in Roanoke now. And this guy is going to learn to be an elder. Well, you know, I can... Oh, not this again. Oh, game. Why? Oh, I can't drag people again for no reason. Anyway, I can have this guy be a statesman. And one of these guys is going to learn to uh, be an elder statesman. Using all the sugar? Oh yeah, I'm using all the sugar. Alright. Let's get our artillery in position. Hopefully I don't run into, into any Dutch frigates along the way. That would be bad. Alright, I have my new colonist in Baltimore, and he is going to... Well, I can't drag him because the game is being difficult, but... Ah! Be a carpenter. This guy's only producing three hammers, and I think this guy's probably doing six wood. 
four wood. Well, all right, that's not particularly efficient, but I'll just live with it for now. Plymouth or party? Yeah, I don't think so. They want to raise the tax rate by 6%. That's crazy. The ungrateful attitude of those colonists makes him ill. Our, our king is so ill. Alright, these guys have to board the next ship because they are not... They're just sitting there. Frigate may as well carry them because it has enough room for all of them and because it's the warship. Steady as she goes. And this guy can grab those colonists and this guy can sell the furs and just sit here, to be honest. For now. Right. Baltimore produced a warehouse. Now a stockade. We are going to need to defend this place. We have produced artillery. What else is there? Getting a little bit closer to our goal of, of uh, Guadalupe. We have criminals in London. All right, I'll take them. What are you gonna do? There's a Dutch frigate wandering in front of my fortress. Cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe another two turns, another two seasons, and I'll be able to land the artillery at Guadalupe. That should be nice. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, da, 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 da. Hold on a sec. Alright, I don't want to actually sail the, the galleon next to the fort because then it could attack me. But I don't want to leave these artillery in this marsh here, either. Oh, heck, I'll just land them in the marsh. I was gonna sail all the way over here to the, to the other Atlantic side of Florida, and then land them on this forest square, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. Wow. Uh, see, I couldn't use that forest square anyway. It's occupied by Dutchmen. If I'm not making a mistake... A lot of artillery. Alright, I have an ore miner and a colonist. Where do I need an ore miner? Probably not there. I still don't have an ore miner in Boston? Alright, go to Boston. Amazing. Took us long enough to get an ore miner over there. Santo Domingo has some horses, so I'll go to Santo Domingo. And there are disgusting Frenchmen infesting Plymouth. No, I don't want this. I want to see if I'm at war with France. I don't think I am. At the moment. But if they found a city over here, <laughs> there's going to be problems. There are going to be big fighting problems. Tools. Alright. We don't have any privateers. We must get your forces away. Get out. And they declared war on us. And they attacked our gun. Alright, this is what I did not want. Dragoons attacking my art artillery. Ow. They're damaging all my artillery. I don't even know if I have any artillery that aren't damaged now. And there's another colonist in San Diego. whoop de doo It's the end of that French merchantman. Alright, so there's a lumberjack over here. And he needs to stop being a... sneaky Frenchman. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, we didn't do a very good job with this Guadalupe business. I only have one piece of undamaged artillery now. And that's not good. Alright, fortify that in Roanoke. 
Santo Domingo. Gosh, I don't know. Who has horses? Everywhere has horses. One, two, three. All right, now we have soldiers in Santo Domingo that need horses. No changes. But I can only give horses to three of them without destroying the stables. Look, the more horses I take away, the more food there is available. That's a lot of food those horses are eating. I, mean, I don't want to take all the horses. Great. Those guys could be useful against the wicked Dutch. Wicked according to our kings. King's uh, words. Good, I'm glad my damaged artillery is good for something. Oh, this game. Why won't it let me click on things? Yeah, you're not getting away. Give me that. And do I need expert lumberjacks anywhere? Not there. Not there. Well, actually, Roanoke is just producing a bunch of food. So, in a matter of speaking, yeah. But I don't think I can... Go over to the carpenter. Yeah, well, I can't actually produce enough food here to have all these people here at the same time. So what I could do is put the lumberjack in here. Two, three. Oh, my artillery. And a French privateer is uh, in front of our fortress, for some reason. There's another French privateer. Maybe they were landing an attack force or something. I don't know. It's a pretty bad idea, though. Alright, this guy can get horses now. Look at all that food. Santo Domingo has a surplus of 22 food per season. 22 tons of food per season. That's huge. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna go get some more artillery for Guadalupe. And probably some other goodies. Like this guy. Yeah, sure. Load, load over there. All right. El our, our elder statesman is in Boston. He will be a statesman, producing Liberty Bells. A lot of Liberty Bells. All right. We actually have a pioneer here. So he should probably be a pioneer. And stop being a war miner. I actually want to plow this area. The last time I tried to plow this area, some Aztecs came over and attacked us. And then the Aztecs came and murdered one of my elder statesmen. And that didn't work out too well. Oh wait! No, that's, that wasn't right. No, that didn't happen. I thought I tried to plow this area before. Now the Aztec didn't attack an elder statesman. Alright, I have to get this guy. I can't drag him. I have to get this guy. No, over here. Or. Get or. Alright. Well, I'll plow this area. And the lumberjack should go to Roanoke, where he's going to be a lumberjack. 14 lumber. And now we don't have enough room for all, all of the people in here, so this guy. This guy is going to be a scout quote unquote. But he's actually going to go over to Plymouth and get muskets. Because that's what he does. Gets muskets. This guy is going to be a statesman. And this statesman, come on, is going to be a teacher. And he's going to teach that criminal to be an elder statesman. Somehow. He's going to work at it. 
Why am I sending this guy over here? I don't know. For horses? I don't even know. Alright, I have a whole bunch of units here that need transportation. So I'll just stick them right there. Two, three. And I'm gonna leave this one guy here. Alright, well, that attack on Guadalupe did not go so well. Recolonists are available in London. More artillery available in Plymouth. You know, I'm just gonna wait. I need three artillery. So clear your orders. And wait. I will load fresh artillery over there. Or minor. Ah, my ore miner. Yes, yes, yes. This guy is going to be a farmer. Right there. No, right there. And this guy, I can just click enough times, is going to be an ore miner. I have, this game is killing me with this dragging problem. He's going to mine a lot of ore. 12 ore. Oh, look. Ore to tool parity. I love that. So that's really efficient. We're going to produce a lot of tools here in Boston. More than we need. And I like that. This guy can finally rehorse after the Indian raid. There's plenty of those going around. Wait. And I have a spare colonist here. What am I doing with this guy? I don't even know. I don't know. Well, I'm gonna let him sit here for now. I don't know what to do with him. One, two, three, four, five, six. Where is my galleon? Another two seasons to repair that thing? Gosh. Alright. This guy has to plow. This guy needs muskets. So I'll go over here and get them. More muskets. There's nothing like a fresh 50 tons of muskets. Wait. Well, you know what? Just clear the orders for that artillery, too. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright, this time, Guadalupe's going down. The Dutch just had... They just had a big party attacking my artillery out in the, out in the open marsh. This time, things are going to be different. One, yes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I can't actually attack these because my ships are all full and such, but... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I will work on it. Uh, I have to get this pioneer out of there. I think the Aztec are about to get uppity. Real uppity. I can't have that. Honestly, they're always attacking us. Boston produced artillery. Good, I'll need that. Hobscott built some artillery. You know, this silver miner is a great little guy, but I just don't have that much use for silver. I mean, I like the silver, but I need the ore. I can't have this guy making silver. So I am going to put him somewhere, put him at the church, and I'm going to have someone else mine ore. Six ore, and then I can have someone else make tools. Like that. That's kind of a funny way of doing it, but it'll work. We have a lot of free colonists here. We've got to get some expertise in, in Nobscot. And Jean de Bourbeau has joined the Continental Congress. Uh, he's probably one of these guys back here in the robes. This guy or this guy? I don't know. All missionaries are now experts. Excellent. So we can just crank out those expert missionaries. And there's a new statesman in Roanoke. Great. So now this guy is just going to be a colonist. Can't wait to restart this game so I don't have to 
click on everything four times to get it to to get it to move. All right. So now I get to pick another member of the Continental Congress. Sierra de la Salle, which gives us stockades. Uh, that's nothing. John Paul Jones gives us a free frigate. Pocahontas gives us better Indian relations. Or it just means they get alarmed more slowly and it resets the relations to um, content. And Juan de Sepulveda increases the chance that Indians will convert. So I'm just going to go with Mr. Frigate right here. A free frigate. Sure, why not? Thank you, Mr. John Paul Jones. Next time on Let's Play Colonization, I'm going to get some guys over here from Santo... A ship. I'm going to get my galleon to carry these dragoons from Santo Domingo all the way to Guadalupe. And we are going to capture that stupid town once and for all.